favorite recipe is going to be Adalicious Pasta in a red wine sauce. It's really easy to make, super delicious. The preparation time is going to be about 15 minutes, and the cooking time is about 30 minutes. So I really hope you enjoy this recipe. Let's get started. Let's go through the ingredients. We need one pound of rigatoni or any other pasta you like. We need 20 ounces of ground meat. I'm using ground turkey, but feel free to use any meat you like. We also need one and a half cups of baby portobello mushrooms, cut into thin slices, four garlic cloves, finely chopped, one whole garlic clove to cook the pasta, three tablespoons of fresh thyme, one sprig of fresh basil, one red onion, finely chopped, half a cup of fresh parsley, also finely chopped, one cup of red wine, two tablespoons of chicken flavor bouillon, two bay leaves, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, parmesan cheese to taste, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Let's get started. Right here I have boiling water to cook the pasta. I'll season the water with plenty of salt, a splash of extra virgin olive oil, a garlic clove and two bay leaves. Now add in the pasta, give it a quick stir to prevent the pasta from sticking together and cook the pasta until al dente. You can check the instructions on the package to check for the cooking time. Once the pasta is ready, drain it and set it aside until you're ready to use it. While the pasta is cooking, in another skillet add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and also add in three quarters of the chopped onion. Cook for about one minute then add in half of the chopped garlic and continue to cook for another minute or so. Then add in two tablespoons of fresh thyme, give it a quick stir and season with one tablespoon of chicken flavor bouillon and black pepper to taste. Cook for another minute or so. Then add in the crushed tomatoes and also add a sprig of fresh basil and a pinch of cinnamon. Let it cook on low heat for about 10 minutes or until it comes to a boil. In the meantime, in another skillet on medium low heat, add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and also add in the rest of the onion and the rest of the garlic. Cook on medium low heat for one minute, then add one tablespoon of fresh thyme and season this with a pinch of salt and black pepper to taste and one tablespoon of chicken flavor bouillon. Cook for another minute or so, just to soften the garlic and the onion a little bit, then add in the meat and break it down with a spoon. And cook the meat until golden brown. Once the meat is done, now I'm going to combine the tomato sauce with the meat. The tomato sauce should be nice and bubbly now. I'm going to transfer it into a larger saucepan and I'm going to combine it with the meat. Give it a quick stir and also add in the mushrooms and the red wine. Cook for about 5 more minutes or until the mushrooms have the consistency that you like. I don't want the mushrooms to be completely soft, so I'll just cook them for about 5 more minutes. But if you want them to be super soft and completely cooked, you can cook them for a longer time if you prefer so. After the mushrooms are done, remove the basil from the sauce. Now taste the flavor, add any more salt and pepper if needed. To finish it up, add some of the fresh parsley, give it a quick stir and that's about it. Now you can bring in the pasta, give it a stir and serve. I don't like mixing the pasta with the tomato sauce. So I'll just serve the pasta, then I'll spoon plenty of the tomato sauce over the pasta. Garnish with fresh parsley and parmesan cheese to taste. Enjoy! I really hope you liked this video. To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!